Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another video and this video is all about 8 fantastic weapons that you can get early on in the game that you can also obtain very easily. Now as well as this, I'm also going to show the location of the flying car and as well as this, I'm also going to show a wee demonstration of what that bad boy can do as well as providing one or two other pieces of useful information throughout the video that are relevant. So, without any further ado, let's get to it. Right folks, the first weapon is the Humidora, and this is located on the very first island in the region of Quito, and it's down on the southeast section, uh, right by Cortaque. Now, once you're there, you are going to have to climb this lighthouse. Not much to it, folks. Just grappling hook on two occasions and a set of ladders. That is all there is to it in order to get this weapon. The reason why I pick this one to start with is because there is simply is not a great wealth of good weapons on the first island. And this is a very, very handy one to get very early on. Okay, once you get to the top, just look for this case right here. And there you go, you've got it. Now let's take a look at this weapon. This one is special as it has incendiary rounds. And as well as this nice red dot sight. The one thing you will notice about these particular weapons, because they're known as unique weapons, um, a little demo of it here by the way <laughs> is that basically you can't actually modify them like you can with a lot of the other weapons in game but they have fantastic uh, things to start with right folks once you have actually left the first island and make your way to the main section of the game which has the the big map of Yara you will want a way to get around the map very quickly and this is the way to do it. Once you reach your first guerrilla camp, to look to unlock the hideout network. Doing this unlocks the wingsuit. And this straight away gives you a fantastically quick way of getting about the island. Now, the second part of this, once you have unlocked the wingsuit, you want to go back in. And then you'll see here you can buy hideout areas that you can unlock on the map. When you purchase these, these will show you exactly where these hideouts are and not only that, you can use these hideouts to basically move around the map very, very quickly. And in a lot of cases, you can also use your wingsuit uh, in order to move to other sections of the map from where you start. Maximus Matanzas is safe, and they've actually got a decent camp here. Okay, now that we've unlocked all these, let's just take a look at where they all are on the map. So as you can see, by purchasing all these, you unlock all these hideouts in all these regions, and this is, all of a sudden, what makes it very, very easy to obtain the rest of the weapons that I am now going to show. Right folks, the second weapon is the El Tirano, and this is located in the northwest section of the Barriel region. And it is located on top of that lighthouse there, uh, in this fort. Now, I'm showing the footage from here as this is the easiest way to get to it uh, unnoticed. Because it is in a restricted area, but there are very few troops around this particular area that I'm now heading to. So straight away you're looking for the area to use the grappling hook. Once you get to here, there's not that much else to do. As you can see, the lighthouse is the ultimate goal here. But 
before we can do that because you can't use your grappling hook from the very bottom here you have to get to a higher height and in order to do this you need to go around the side of this building here yep use these ladders and then from here go for this next section here this gets you the required height that you can use the grapple hook and from here there's not really much more to do as before just look for the box which I've just passed <laughs> And there it is, the El Tirano. It is now in my possession. Now, if we take a look at what this bad boy has, you can see straight away armor-piercing rounds. It's got a fantastic sniper scope as well. Now, the big drawback to this weapon is that it has no silencer on it whatsoever. However, the velocity on this thing is absolutely maxed, meaning that if you can see it in your scope, you can hit it. You can take targets from a long, long way away with this bad boy. It really is such a handy weapon to have in your arsenal so early. But as I've already said, it is loud. <laughs> right folks, on to weapon number three and it is the fantastic El Caballero which is in the Aguas Lindas region. Uh, basically where I am showing on the map there, this steel plant. Now, this grenade launcher unfortunately is located at a rank 7 base. However, it is not too difficult to get your hands on this bad boy when you know how. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Because first of all, you require to get a key to unlock the building that the El Caballero is uh, located within. So, if you start off by taking this route, this is just basically going round the side of the base. You will eventually come to this section here, go through it, then you're looking for a blue marker. Once you see the blue marker, look to your right. Now from here, just keep going the way that uh, this shows you. There is only one way you can go. You cannot possibly get lost. You will eventually come to a ladder. And when you come to this ladder, go on up and you're looking the very first window that you can go through. There will be a guard there. Take him out with stealth. That's the only person you will have to engage. And there you go. There are the keys. From there, you quite simply just head back to where you came from. Again, this is one way in here. You cannot possibly get lost. And again, once out here, head over to this section. And once you're through this, turn to your left. And then again, you're just going around the, the outskirts of uh, this base. Okay, this is me uh, pretty much back at the start uh, here. Now from here, I just go down to this outhouse. Obviously, I've already taken care of the tripwire there. And the El Caballero is located within this uh, small building right here. So use the key. As you can see, there's quite a lot of goodies in here as well, so don't forget to grab them. But here is the main prize. Fantastic. Now, if we just take a look at what this bad boy has, um, as you can see, incendiary grenades, um, it can hold six at a time. It's got fantastic damage. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is it takes an age when you have to reload the weapon, but it's a small price to pay. 
you can uh, blast off uh, six rounds with uh, this bad boy very, very quickly. It is a fantastic piece of kit to have in your arsenal very early on. Okay folks, weapon number four is Bullseye and it is located in the Sierra Perdida region in the western side of it. Now as, as you can see here on the map, easiest way to sort of find it is if you look for Verde Lake, go down to the spot just below it and then move right over to there. Now, this bad boy, as you would imagine, is a bow, and it's always very nice to get one of these early in game. Uh, obviously for stealth reasons, but uh, also for hunting. Now, basically, once you're at this location, you just need to open that cage, and then collect your prize. As easy as that. So again, let's just take a look at what this bow has. Precision arrows, crosshair sight. Yep, so if you're above enemies, you'll do additional damage. Yep, now let's just take a look at this bad boy in action. Yeah, it's fantastic. If you get your headshots right, this thing really is lethal. Right folks, weapon number 5 is the Impact Driver and this is located in the Barial region. And as you can see it's in this location here at Myrta Point. Now this weapon is a light machine gun and um, very easy to get your hands on. Although there is a uh, gate there, it is locked. However, simply go up this ladder here, and from there, proceed to go over the side here. And then from there, you can access this wall, and that will basically get you over to where you need to be. And there it is. So again, let's take a look at this bad boy. Armour piercing rounds as you'd expect, so very handy. Tactical sight. Yeah, a lot of nice things about this gun. The only thing I would say that is bad about it is, again, the reloading time for this. It is. It takes a long time. But it's a very handy weapon to have in your uh, arsenal. Takes care of uh, a lot of the soldiers very, very quickly. And especially at close range. This thing is absolutely lethal at close range. Right folks, number six on my list is the computer and it is in the Noventarmas uh, region and basically if you look for the Dulce Olor River and then just to the left of it is this relay station. And from here, this is the easiest way to get to um, this weapon and it's another shotgun folks. Uh, I'm not saying it is the best of the shotguns, but it is a very nice one to get early on, and I'll show you why once we actually manage to get a hold of it. Because although there are one or two better shotguns that you can get, um, getting a hold of them is a lot harder. And this video really is all about the weapons that not only are good, but are easily obtained which has taken quite a number of other weapons out of the picture when uh, doing this video. 
But anyways, folks, this is the easiest way to uh, approach this one because you are now entering a restricted area. Obviously, collect any bits and bobs on the way. And, uh, yep, from here, you're looking for this ladder. And once at the top, there you go. Not very difficult to find at all. So, let's take a look at the stats of this bad boy. Yep. High caliber single shot rounds. Yep. A nice sight. Now, as you can see, the damage doesn't look fantastic and whatnot, but there is uh, something else about this uh, weapon that you will see once it's uh, in action that makes it very, very handy to have. Here we go. Not very apparent from that shot there, but uh, just watch what this does when you uh, start hitting them at close range. <laughs> it knocks them back in a big way. Right, number seven on the list is the Yurushi. And this bad boy is located in Esperanza. And on the far eastern side uh, in this area that are now showing on the map. Now it's easiest just to make your way over to this area by foot. Um, not hard to avoid the troops in all fairness, just make sure you're not uh, showing a gun. I make sure it's uh, holstered. And there you go. Once you have this bad boy, um, it really is uh, a gun you want to keep a hold of and use all the time because it is fantastic. Armour piercing rounds has a fantastic suppressor, although it does uh, heat up rather quickly. But uh, I'll show you in just a second um, this bad boy in action because this is a fantastic weapon. Just firing it in short bursts like that is uh, is good. You don't take long at all with uh, with the enemies. Even when you have to reload it, doesn't take long to reload either. Okay, folks. Last but definitely not least is the Desert Eagle, and this is located again in the Esperanza region uh, on the far western side. And you actually have to complete a treasure hunt in order to uh, get this weapon but it is definitely worth doing as this weapon is a beauty. Uh, the treasure hunt itself is not particularly difficult and I'm going to show you right now exactly how to take care of it. Start off by going in here, uh, have a quick read of this here which just basically uh, gives you an idea of what you have to do. Three switches to unlock the treasure beneath. So, from here, I recommend just uh, getting on top of the roof of this building. Now, from here, you can see exactly where the three power lines are heading. So, we'll take care of the first one right now. Yep, for the first one, you're looking to get onto this wall, which I make a complete mess of the first time. Let's try again. Yep. Once we're on it, just move over here, and then look to your left, and make the jump up there. That's the only way you can get onto uh, this section. From there, yep, pick up the metal, and that is the first of the three switches. First one down. Two more to go. From here, the second is this house right over here, and as you can see, there is gas uh, going into this particular house. But if you just head over here, interact with this, turn off the gas supply, and from there, it is now safe to go inside. And inside is the second switch. Lo siento. 
No, you didn't have a chance. The other test. I hope the last which is easy to find. Now, the last one that might give some people problems is located at the next house that we're about to go to. Yeah, but as you can see, just follow the power line if you're not sure. Once you get in here, the key is to actually read the note that is inside because it actually tells you the three things that you need to interact with in order to um, unlock the area that has the final switch. So it's telling you go and uh, switch on the radio, then go to the TV, and then the third part of this is actually a picture that is on the wall. So we'll start with the radio. Once you do that, the bookcase there to the right will uh, move, and that is the third switch. The Once switch. you have hit that third switch, you just need to head back to the area that you started at. And now you will find that this door will be open. And there it is, folks. The Desert Eagle. And this is a fantastic weapon to have. Okay, let's see what this bad boy has. Right, as you can see, folks, the stats on the right-hand side there are quite appealing for this weapon, uh, especially being a sidearm. But uh, the thing with this is mainly what you can add to it. Because when you add armor-piercing bullets and a decent sight to this, this bad boy uh, becomes lethal. It really is. It's a nice weapon to have in your arsenal. Now, locating other weapons. I thought this was very important to point out because uh, not that many people are aware of this. But for all your, especially your unique weapons, if you actually go over the boxes that uh, where you don't currently have that weapon, it actually tells you where you can find them. Yeah, and that one there especially, the supercharger, I'm going to be looking for that one later on. It would have been on my list had it not been for the fact of where it's located. But again, as you start going through the the weapons, it will tell you exactly how, well, not exactly, but how you can get a hold of them. In some cases, if you have to complete a treasure hunt, it'll tell you which one you have to complete and in what area. So... It doesn't give you an exact location, but definitely if you're looking for one of these, it gives you a pretty good idea straight away where you need to be uh, searching. Okay, on to the flying car. Now, this is located again in the Barrial region, and it is, yep, by the Caballero Steps. Now, another big tip coming up here. When you find a vehicle, as long as it is not military grade, get your phone out and scan it. As soon as you see the green come up there with the tick, you'll see there the vehicle is now available at any pickup point. Fantastic. Once you have that there, that's it. You've got it for keeps. So you can just call it up. And this is an amazing vehicle to have it really is folks and i'm going to give you a demonstration of just how good this is okay once inside the first thing you'll notice is on the, the steering column you've got the speed indicator and you've got an arrow you need to get the speed 
uh, above where that arrow is in order to start flying. And basically, once you have the speed high enough, uh, hit the triangle button. Uh, that's if you're using a PlayStation, of course. And then that's it. You're off. Again, if you want to land it, just take it down nice and steady. And just as you're uh, just about to uh, hit the tarmac, press the triangle button again. And you're into driving mode. It really is that easy. And this is an absolute game changer. Getting around the island now is so much easier. Okay, I'm just going to let this run um, for a few more minutes just to show you just uh, exactly how good this is and just what you can do it, where you can go. Okay, the people of Yara are always worth saving. However, in this clip, <laughs> this job's going to be done for me. Just watch. <laughs> it's so nice of the locals. Gracias. Pensé que hasta aquí había llegado. Yeah. Okay, I'll show a little bit more flying time before I uh, finally finish. Okay folks, that just about wraps up the demonstration of the flying car. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing it in action. It is an insanely good piece of kit that you want to get as soon as possible. Just uh, an extra step of uh, making the game so much fun, so playable and getting around the area so much quicker. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it, folks. Take care.